Can you describe the situation now in Belarus? Mm. Our country, Belarus, is in deep uh, political crisis. Our people uh, want new uh, president. We want new elections because the elections that were on the 9th of August this year, they were uh, falsified. Uh, our people know uh, whom they voted for uh, and they are sure, they are absolutely sure that uh, Mr. Lukashenko uh, is not their president anymore and they will not allow uh, him to be a leader of our country anymore. They will not forgive and forget uh, all the violence that he committed towards usual people. You know that at least six deaths uh, happened after the demonstrations. Uh, hundreds of people were hardly injured there in hospitals. And there are still, we still don't know where uh, a lot of people now. They just disappeared. So we want new country. We want to build new country. People want this. And uh, uh, that's why we are protesting now in Belarus. What do you expect from Europe? We are really grateful to Europe that it uh, supports uh, our movement. Uh, our strive for uh, um, changing our country for better. Uh, we don't want the country where human rights are uh, not um, respected. Um, but maybe uh, Europe should be more loud in their statements. And uh, uh, of course, it's up to every country, but we ask for individual sanctions. Uh, uh, against uh, people who uh, committed uh, these crimes. Will you come back to, to Belarus? For sure. I adore my country. I want to live there. And uh, I will come back to Belarus as soon as I feel, as I and my children uh, feel uh, safe there.